ready. Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. Latest news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. You guys do not know. Um, Bad Baby is out here saying, you know, now that the jig is up and, uh, She's made her money. Now she wants to blast the people who ran to join her OnlyFans. And she's calling these people pervs. She's saying that they deserve to go to jail. So let me go ahead and share my screen here. Give me just a second. Okay. I'm trying to find the right size. Hmm. Okay, we'll use that one. So Bad Baby says people who rush to watch her OnlyFans as soon as she's turned 18 she go to jail. So she did an interview and I'm not going to play the interview because everything she does is copywritten and, you know, they'll, they'll strike your channel. But um, she was talking about it to Barstool Sports and she's 19 now and she discussed her decision to create an account on the site, um, you know, once she turned age of consent. So this was her. These are all the little thirst trap pictures she had been posting. But let me go ahead and read to y'all what I first said on Instagram about this girl. Let me let me read my response. I'm not y'all can go there to go listen to her interview, but this is what I said. I said from day one, she exploited her sexuality, then did an Olsen style countdown, announcing that she was turning 18. She then ran to making OnlyFans. She made one million in a night. Now that people got their jollies off and moved on to the next legal 18 year old, she's trying to stir up controversy and attention. Unless she's refunding these so-called pervs their money back, she needs to move around. You are legally of age, boys can fight and die in war at 18, and girls can strip and bear it all at the same age. It's only perverted to her now because there's nothing left to sell. Plus, many people unsubscribe because the economy is crashing and people are being more mindful with their money. I hope these young black girls are watching the games that are being played. Becky can always play victim, turn a new leaf, reinvent herself. Where did her black scent all of a sudden go? And miss me with the BS called, it's called growth comments. Take your capes to the shade room. I've never been a fan of this chick. And I had, a, you know, a bunch of likes on there, whatever. And so let me show you her Olsen, uh, her Olsen style countdown. So this was as soon as she turned 18. I'm not going to play the music. This was the video letting everybody know that she was 18 and she was opening OnlyFans. OK, so just watch how sexually. Explicit this video is lingerie ass out hit it from the back booty cheeks okay so this is what she dropped letting everybody know that she was of age and within six hours she made a million dollars okay then later on that year she came out bragging not later on excuse me literally the next day and she showed everybody her gross payment one million dollars okay not bad for six hours we broke the fuck out of the only fans record so she was very proud of her handiwork a year ago so now she then she was able to buy a, a luxury bentley she bought a six million dollar home here goes some more of her luxury cars a 6.1 million sprawling mansion in florida but there was something else that she said. I'm trying to find it because she was getting upset about people calling her cash me outside. I'm trying to see if I can find the, the tweet. Okay, I, re I remember what it said, so it don't even matter, child. Let me come back on my screen, child. So 
Yeah, she's made a total of fifty million dollars, where she's been able to live comfortably, take care of her trailer trash mom who exploited her, um, and her family. So what I find it, what I find very funny is that now she wants to call these men pervs. Um, she's trying to stir up controversy because obviously she's not making a million dollars off her OnlyFans anymore. People have seen what she was selling. They got their jollies off, busted their little nuts and kept it moving. That's usually how OnlyFans work. You're the it girl for the time being. And then the next it girl comes around and people move on to her, so on and so forth, right? Um, so what I find very funny is the fact that now she can reinvent herself. If you watch that interview, she's talking very demure and soft. The, the ghetto black scent is gone. Um, she's trying to talk, you know, with the regular Becky, you know, oh, and yeah, I just, it was just, they're pervs. My thing is this, who did she think was going to flock to her OnlyFans? The average 18 year old male who would have been her age, they don't have that much disposable income at 18. I'm not saying all y'all 18 year olds are broke, but the average 18 year old does not have an additional 25 bucks a month to continuously pay for cash me outside to take it all off or whatever the hell she was on there doing, okay? Most of the people who have the disposable income are going to be older men, men in their 20s on up. So she's full of crap. Who are you marketing this to? You weren't marketing this to other teenagers. It wasn't going to be other teenagers flocking to your OnlyFans. So it's very funny that now that she's been able to make 50 million or however much, you know, off of this whole situation over the past year or so. Now she's calling herself trying to create new controversy and call out these guys, you know, and I see some people and I see some people like trying to excuse it and, you know, make her out to be a victim. And these guys are pervs and this, this and that um, she was selling a service and she was also of age. And I get tired of this whole discussion with the bitter Betty Brigade. Um, because you feel like people shouldn't have sex until they're 26. That is your business, but that's not reality. Okay. The legal age is 18. If no, nobody cries when, when 18 year old men, uh, join the military and get sent out to Iraq and possibly dies. Everybody says, well, that's what they signed up for. You knew what it was. Okay. So the legal age of consent is 18. So I don't care about anything else. The legal age to get on OnlyFans is 18. As soon as she turned 18, she did an Olsen Twins, you know, style countdown to let everybody know she was ready and legal and wanted that paper. So I'm confused as to what is the problem now? What is the issue? And see, when you have nothing to like really sell, when you're just, you know, a uh, 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 influencer who happened to make it because of the whole Dr. Phil controversy, she has nothing else to give. In that tweet, the one I was trying to look for, I couldn't find it. She was basically saying, okay, I found it. Matter of fact, here it is. It was on the next page. Let me show y'all. Okay. Because Pop Crave had posted it. Bad Baby tells TMZ she no longer would like to be referred to as the Cash Me Outside girl. Call me the youngest female of the decade to go platinum. Call me some S-H-I-T like that. Call me the girl who made a million dollar makeup deal. The girl who made over 50 million on OnlyFans. So I'm confused. This was in April of 2022. She is bragging about making $50 million off of OnlyFans. Then you fast forward a year later. Now she's a victim of the same platform who made her a multimillionaire. Make it make sense. She didn't sound too depressed and sad in April when she was bragging about getting 50 million. So what, what is it? She didn't have, is she going to give the money back to the pervs? Cause I didn't hear her say that. I didn't hear her say, Oh, I'm, I'm reborn and I don't want pervert money. I'm too good for this. I found my self worth. Here goes your 50 million back. Oh no, you'll never see that. That's never going to happen. So if you're not going to give the money back, shut the F up. You're looking for attention and you're trying to reinvent yourself. And this is what's sad is that 
This is what I've been saying for years. White girls can put themselves in situations like this, you know, do porn, whore themselves out, do all types of stuff, and then reinvent themselves. But unfortunately, when black girls get into sex work, they don't get that same grace. You're always labeled as the stripper, the porn star, the this, the that. Jenna Jameson now, they don't even, they barely even mention the fact that she was a porn star. Now she's a woke activist. And I like Jenna Jameson, but now she's woke and she's exposing the matrix. And I'm like, well, she was a porn star back in the day, but okay. They can always move from their past. And that's why I keep telling folks, you need to realize that this world is not fair. It's not the same world that we live in. And when you say that, people want to act like you're wrong for pointing out the facts or, oh, you're racist. No, it's it's a fact. She she was able to play this ghetto role, this stereotypical role. She don't went from Keisha to now Karen. You know what I'm saying? And it was cute because she's a little white girl. There's no way a little black girl could have got on Dr. Phil disrespecting their parent and been able to monetize off of it. She'd have been clowned, berated, and ignored, as she should have been. I don't do bad children. I told y'all from day one, I've never been a fan of this chick. I do not do bad, disrespectful kids. I don't allow my kids to disrespect me. I'm not going to listen to some little girl cuss out her mom and call her mom all out her name and all that nonsense. But sadly, there was a lot of black, young black people who put her in this position to where she was able to become a platinum rapper, Gucci flip-flops sold, and people ran out to support and cape for her. And now when she wants to reinvent herself, she can and will not be a problem. And I, I just, I find that just very, I don't know. It's just weird. <laughs> if you want the latest news in the streets, join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.